Hey gang, Dave here getting in the outdoors and today I'm coming at you live and in person at Sports Pal again. This little canoe here had a bad day. Let me show you what happened to it. Looks nice down here. Looks nice, looks nice, looks nice, looks nice, looks nice. Uh oh. <clears throat> Something happened. What happened? Ooh, a tree fell on it. So I'm going to take this canoe and put some elbow grease and some hammering to see where I can get this thing back to. I'm going to try and bring it back to where it once was. Well, probably won't get it there, but I'm going to get it as close as possible. Right now, she's not really too seaworthy, so I'm going to try and bring her back from the brink of extinction. The lady brought this in for repair, and I'm going to see what I can do for her. All right, guys, um, this could be interesting, going to be loud, banging, smashing, all that stuff. Um, hang tight and see what I can do. Okay, gang, what I started to do was I tore off the sponsons already. I'm going to remove all of this hardware, the seats, the yoke, all the ribs, the liner, take everything out of it, start from scratch, and see what it looks like in the belly of the beast. So I'm going to drill out the rivets for the seats, remove those, take these bolts out, um, take off the little bits of hardware she's got attached to it, or rod holders I guess, and simply so drilling out the rivet heads, the seats come out, um, just pull the ribs, they'll, they'll come out of there, and yeah, it's simple as she's going to be. One thing you could get into here is a few creepy crawlies. A few little critters carrying stuff around. Ew. Probably a whole gang of them underneath this liner. All of the other ribs are all crinkled and crushed and kinked, so they're all going to be scrap aluminum, but we'll get them out of there. All stripped down. Some of that. These little size size 10 hammers. Alright, she's starting to come back down to where she needs to be. It's a little closer. So that was the rough hammering I did with my little work boots. So the next step is gonna be real loud with a regular hammer and see where I get to. Now, we'll 
real ugly spot I have is this janky chunk of gunnel like I've tried to bend. Okay, the sheet is starting to come loose there, so I am going to have to put a few rivets in there to replace what I just knocked out. But I did get the shape smashed back into her. Alright, while, while I was tearing this thing apart, I noticed a little bit of fiberglass in here. Uh, the problem is, almost nothing sticks to this aluminum, except the marine sealant that's designed for it. So, I'm going to just this off because I guarantee that's going to leak there. So I'm going to, while I got the belly of the beast opened up, I'm going to put the proper patching on the inside. Um, as we do this, we want to make sure there's no issues at all. And because the back of the canoe did get damaged, I want to make sure that where the keel meets the boat at the end here, uh, I'm going to make sure it does not leak. All right, well, here's where I knocked out all my rivets. So in order to line my heel back up where, or my gunnel back up where it belongs, and then one of these little babies over top of the end of my rivet. If I can get it on there. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. I was pushing too hard on that. Alright. So that's going to hold it nice and tight. And all that is, one eighth rivet. And I'll just slide that down over the end as I pop it. I don't want to do it yet. Just going to grab on there and work as a washer on the inside. There we go, that's better. I'm gonna punch myself in the face. All right guys, I'm going to use this stuff we use here for before we go. I'm just gonna clean the area really good. Uh, basically all it is is a, a degreaser which basically your average dish soap would do about the same. I'm just using a little scratch pad to rough up the, the area a little bit. And I am going to, any other spots that I thinned out a little bit, I'm just going to give a little bit of that. Right to it. Let's see where it's going to happen before. I'm using a marine sealant that actually is used to seal the canoes. Uh, it's the only thing that we found that sticks very well to this, to the any aluminum, basically. So uh, it sticks good, doesn't peel off, doesn't harden in the sun. Uh, fiberglass, stuff like that, doesn't work. So you're better off to source out the marine sealant from anybody you can find it from, but they do have it at Baywood Enterprises. So if you want to get a tube of that stuff, they do sell it there. And that is available in at bwmarineproducts.com. They'll get you a tube of that stuff. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of goop on there. And 
where I washed over here. I'm just going to give it a light smear. Now, this stuff sticks very, very well. And if you're not careful, it will stick very, very well to your fingers, your clothes, you name it. So, I'm going to use a wet rag. And you're just going to tap it down. Here, I'm going to smear it around, but I'm going to do the exact same thing. Uh, I'm going to get a stick or something to smear it around so it's not quite so thick to do, work with. So that's basically the sealant. So I'll let that dry overnight and I can repaint it or whatever I want. Uh, that's on the inside of the canoe, so I'm not going to paint it or anything. But if you were to do the outside, it's exactly what you do. So I put her in our test tank over there and I found where it was popped up. All of the screw heads have a small, small leak in them right now. So what I did was I just resealed all the screw heads and I will let that dry before I put the liner in so it doesn't pull that off the bottom. However, I do have all the leaks sealed up. I'm going to start putting the ribs in, kind of from the opposite end I should. Start down here at the front. Nice little look at that tool. Anybody's curious. Better tie this thing down. ribs that I did take out of it. So it should go in fairly fairly easy. But it might go in too easy or it should be replaced. So I got the liner in. I got her skin. It was upside down when it came in so we flipped it the right direction. Uh, it had a little bit of dry rod at the end so I made these aluminum brackets just to stiffen it up a little bit. And it's plenty strong there now. Uh, the front seat I got back in the old holes. However, because the back was so badly mangled, uh, I'm gonna have to drill new holes, put the seat in the location where it fits without having to dis distort the canoe too much to make it happen. It's gonna be back a little bit further. Ah, worst case scenario, the guy in the back's got a little more leg room. Just using the ice grips. Make her nice and tight. Making sure it's even side to side. Putting the sponsons back on is pretty easy. Uh, the holes are already drilled, so that's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, you put your end ones in first, and then the rest you just line up with the corresponding holes, and you tighten down the bolts and break off whatever is extra that you don't need, so you don't get caught on them. Just break them off with a pair of ice grips, bend them, bend them, be good. Touch-ups. There you go, guys. The total refurbishment of a canoe that was destined for the landfill. Brought back in just a couple hours, and this thing's going to have another 15, 20 years, no problem at all. 
It's not going to look as cute as it once did, but none of us do, so uh, she's going to be seaworthy again. She doesn't leak. I touched it up. Everything's good to go. Uh, hopefully the lady that brought this in is happy with what, uh, what she invested into this, which was minimal beyond a little bit of sweat and hammering and a few, few new ribs that I had to put in. Other than that, came back from the brink. This is a typical sports pal. Uh, will take a beating, does show it, like myself. Bump and bruise easier as time goes on. Uh, from this morning till now, there's a lot less gap underneath. I'm happy with it, I'd use it. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share the heck out of this, and uh, get yourself out on the water and enjoy.